Yeah, it's, a, it's like a. It goes like all the joy, all the love, all the words are not enough for this perfect, precious blessing of a baby born for me. Got the chorus, yeah. Crazy, you know. All right, let's go. Want to do that bridge one more time? Yeah. Yeah. Right, and then we'll do the bridge into like the first line of the chorus, and then we're good to go. All right, one, two, three, four. Actually, the intro, and then we'll go and get started. It's a beat flat diminished. That's why there's a circle thing, I think. And that, that's what I figured it was. So I'm just playing. It's like this. Yeah, I mean. Mm. No, I liked it. It sounds good. I mean, it matched whatever, uh, you know whatever notes I'm playing. <laughs> it's like B flat, E, uh, uh, G flat? Right, whatever key, key of D. So. G, uh, A sharp. So, B flat, well, it's weird there's a flat here now. B flat, E, G sharp. You don't have diminished chords? Hello. You're not on. <laughs> hey, Rex, we need help, man. No, I, can, I got it. Oh, you got it? Connor's got it. Testing. All right. Welcome to Covenant Presbyterian Church and all those who have joined us today in the parking lot and online. We hope you had a great Thanksgiving connecting over Zoom, which is what we did. That was interesting, but fun. Uh, you know, it lasted about an hour, then we ran out of things to talk about. We said bye. That's a great Thanksgiving, in my opinion. Um, and we, uh, it was great to connect with, with family again. And um, we here at Covenant strive in all circumstances to connect with each other, um, connect people to Jesus Christ in this hectic world. Call your attention to the announcements and continu continue to ask for your pledges. Many of you, most of you have sent yours in. If you haven't, please do. Um, if you have any questions, call me or Bev or um, the finance elder, Jen. We're doing an angel tree again. And um, this time we're not giving to certain families specifically. 
uh, with names, but we're providing gifts for children on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, and they will sort that out. It is a really neat ministry to some really uh, needy folks on the reservation. Um, we uh, have moved from school supplies to winter coats and hats and gloves for Belmont Elementary School. All the information is there. We're collecting it through December 20th. And uh, please contact Adel Gilkey uh, before maybe you mail anything to her or if she needs to come by and pick it up from the church. Thank you, Adel, for organizing that. We continue with our giving opportunity to Playa del Carmen Presbyterian Church in uh, uh, Playa del Carmen, Mexico. They continue to struggle. We have helped them immensely. They are immensely grateful for the money that we have sent down there for medication and uh, for roof damage and for food especially and their little pantry there in the neighborhood. So continue to give to that. The Lord be with you. All right. Well, Today is, believe it or not, the first Sunday of Advent, and uh, we will celebrate Advent over the next four weeks leading up to Christmas. Um, by now, you should have, most of you anyway, received a little devotional booklet that came in a red envelope, and it is an Advent guide, a devotional that will help you uh, make it more meaningful. It's by Henry Nouwen, one of our favorites. Um, the word Advent comes from the Latin word Adventus, which means coming. And it's interesting that in the 4th and 5th century, uh, there was a time of preparation for baptism for new Christians. And Christians uh, accompanied, uh, Christians spent 40 days fasting and praying to prepare for their baptisms. And it was accompanied by celebration. Um, over time, Advent was connected to the first coming of Christ at Christmas and then the second coming of Christ when he will come to create a new heavens and new earth. The, this first Sunday of Advent gives us the opportunity to center our thoughts on hope. It's a beautiful chance to remember the hope that God has already given us through Jesus for a dark and sick and dying world. May we prepare our hearts this season to celebrate Jesus' arrival as a gift to all humanity, and may it stir up in our hearts and homes uh, a sense of anticipation. We light the candle of hope. Uh, when we do that, this is interesting, um, these candles here would, if they were real, they would blow out in the wind, and so those are five electrical battery-powered uh, candles, and um, we when we light the candle of hope, which I will pretend to do, <laughs> we acknowledge uh, our own yearning for hope. And we acknowledge God's stubborn hope that holds us as one in Christ as we begin our journey. 